Hello and welcome to Aviation Farming and Delta 4 Hangar at Glendale. I'm going to start where I left off last time and I've got the trailing edge skin pretty much fitted. The skeleton is facing with the bottom of the wing side down and eventually I'll be flipping that over and leveling it and we'll start putting the bottom wing skin in place. Here I've got the skeleton flipped over with the bottom side facing up, uh, getting ready to start fitting the bottom skin. Later on in the day, I slid down under the work table and no one could hear me calling for help when I was trying to get out from underneath there. And it was only sheer determination and the willingness to live that I got myself out from underneath the table by myself. Here I'm starting to level the skeleton and eventually I'll be attaching it uh, to the work table. I got the spar vertically and horizontally the way I want it. And what I'm going to do next would be to screw a block of wood down in two places along that spar into the work table and that block of wood, the edge of it, will overlap onto the spar cap and hold it tightly in place. Here's one of the pieces, uh, blocks of wood that's screwed into the table that's holding the spar. The other one is down there. I saw, slide some blocks of 2 by 4s uh, up there. Just snug it up to the aft wing ribs for support. And then I'll take away the support underneath the rear bar of the wing. You can see that where the, uh, the trailing edge skin is. I'll take those supports out from underneath there. Then I'll double check the main spar and make sure that it's vertically and horizontally the way I want it. Here I'm just fitting the flapper on arms, cleekling them into place.
Here I'm just measuring between the flapper on arm and the trilling edge, very trilling edge skin. There's only a one millimeter difference between the forearms and the trilling edge skin. And it's good enough for me. We already fitted the inboard nose skin and now we're placing the outboard nose skin onto the nose ribs and fitting it. Now I pretty much follow the plans in this build. Um, but these videos are not intended to be used in building other aircraft or anything. It's only for demonstration uh, purposes and entertainment. For instance, you might see me place the nose skin underneath the the uh, aft rib skin. Well, that's only temporary till the drilling takes place. And that's not really how I put the nose skin underneath. I will put the nose skin up over the top. Here we are clicking the outboard nose skin to the nose ribs. I slid under the work table and I'm having trouble getting out. Uh, viewer discretion is advised here. Oh my god, is Bill Boss Dude gonna make it? Uh, looks like he made it, but it wasn't a pretty sight. Here I'm rechecking the spar again with a, a, a bubble level. I also use my phone and a protractor. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.